Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today's video, we are going to look over or discuss the update that is happening tomorrow, August 12. So as you can see here, maintenance game news. So there will be a maintenance tomorrow at 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. August 12 GMT plus 7. So object, all servers, compensation, of course, quartz, 300 and Eternium, 1000. So the update includes actually new content so event great witch legacy event starts and new event episode event mission and event shop that will be open or a new uh in line with the witch legacy event uh, that will be starting tomorrow second will be recruit new classified recruitment awakened solar codex yuna probability up we'll discuss more on her and the other two um, units or heroes that would be dropping tomorrow next would be Serapel probability up as well a normal recruitment so new banner as well and we also have skins pumpkin knight skins release cindy looper regina mccready and ingrid johanna okay number five is a new counter pass and uh, rewards would be harab uh, for the paid one of course for the premium pass or for the special pass so i'll be discussing those three after this so let's just finish this one attendance 100 day eve special punch in um next would be shop new yuna release celebration packages yuna update celebration classified recruitment package volume one yuna update celebration classified recruitment package Volume 1, Yuna Update Celebration Growth Package. So there are a lot of packages actually coming out um, tied to Yuna's release. And the shop, a Great Witch Legacy Package Recruitment recruitment Package. Great Witch Legacy Special Recruitment Package 2. Again, so this these are um, items in the shop that are new so that you could recruit for um, probably Sharpay and more or less other means of recruitment or other items that can aid you in your recruitment and also there is a danger close adjustment or elimination score reward and rank reward please refer to the events for more details so this is just the announcement for the for the event let's move on to the the employees or the units that will be dropping tomorrow so we will start here with the new unit uh, solar codex awakened yuna i was able to go through her you know through her her skills her passive what she brings where she's good and to sum it all up she is again this is true a striker who is in reality a tank damage dealer hybrid so we still have to see whether she will be better than awakened hilde um, in terms of being tougher, but if she is at par with Awakened Hilde, I'm sure a lot of people will be switching from Awakened Hilde to her because they are both at six cost. They are stri uh, she's striker and a counter as well. So again, she is still very good in the Korean server. Um, she's not one of the top, but again, for the Southeast Asian server, she will really, really dominate pretty much because again we we will have probably she will be we, we, she will decline down the line but right now she is i think a must for pvp especially take note especially if you don't have awakened hilde yet okay so if you don't have awakened hilde i would suggest that you you know must summon for her um she she will also be a good complement to awakened hilde but again two six cost in a team but some some teams are actually pulling it off um but it would be tricky as well if you bring both of them but again i think it would be you know it, it would be an experiment but it's not impossible okay krpve score it's <laughs> they uh they scored her at a 12 out of 10 so pve she is very exceptional um no no argument there get her because she is still good in very very good in pvp probably the best and for pvp she can actually be good at a nine out of ten especially now in the early stages of um southeast asia counter side 
So worth pulling, future proof, definitely she is. And let's take a look at her skills that are here. So for her basic attack, summons flames inflicting AoE damage to the enemy in front after every basic attack. Riley delivers an AoE attack to be to the farthest target and decreases its attack and attack speed by 30 for 5 seconds. So again, based on the basic attack, um I this is just an this is just an assumption. I think attack speed would be good for her because she could, you know, she could um um kick out or she could uh, initiate that fifth basic attack and AoE on the furthest target. So Again, the, your furthest target would be snipers, with supporters, your healers. So again, I think attack speed would be good for her. Riley's passive. So summon Riley when deployed. Yuna decreases HP by 2% every 2 seconds for herself and surrounding enemies, um, excluding bosses and ships, and recovers 3% of HP every second if Riley is on the field. Riley resurrects in 5 seconds with full hp one summon again so this this passive is actually good but it's really dependent on riley for his survivability and his presence as well at skill level five if riley is dead damage taken is 50 percent and special ultimate skill hp restoration at 50 percent for five sec for five seconds so this actually makes her tanky tanky Again, a tanky striker is actually a, a headache. Next would be Solar Flare. It's her special. So 20 second cooldown. Summons a massive column of fire inflicting AoE damage on and around the target. Loses their buff effects and can't, re can't receive new buffs for 6 seconds. Yuna also recovers 10 HP. If um, Riley is on the field at skill level 5 damage taken is minus 15%. For 8 seconds when cast, effect doubled if Riley is on the field. Again, Riley is the is the difference maker here. And uh, again, this is actually important to her synergy to the synergy with you, Yuna. Um next would be prominence, her ultimate, so 52 second cooldown concentrates and discharges the power of the sun, inflicting AoE damage in the enemies uh, in the enemies on the front. Recovers 20% of HP if Riley is on the field. Again, at level 5, attack was 15% and 12 seconds after skill. Effect doubled if Riley is on the field. So again, um, she has um, damage resistance. She has um, she has healing. She has damage. Um, again, she is really has survivability. So definitely, for me, I think a must pull right now. Even if you have a weakened heal there. Do pull for her. Try to pull for her because I think at this point, when Awakened Hilde is banned, then she can actually take her place as one of your tanks in front. Okay, so next would be Harab. So Harab is actually available in in the premium, uh, the premium pass. I think it's the premium pass for for counter pass. So she's an SSR supporter counter at three cost. I say this to hate soldiers and minions and is a counter to soldier teams so for pve her score is three, three out of ten so you don't get her for pve you only get her for pvp because she is a counter to soldiers which soldiers are actually gaining gaining momentum right now in 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 uh, in southeast asia server so again she would be a good ally to have eventually especially if if uh, soldiers are actually dominating she could be you know she could be your sixth man of of the bench when you really need her so only if you like pvp she's rarely used in pve so let's take a look at her skills so basic attack whips the front area including aoe damage so it carries a whip Sadistic creature passive increases her attack 1% as per basic attack targets up to 99%. Harab's basic attack also damages allies at 1% at of, of attack and increases their damage resistance by 5% every time up to 30%. Okay, at skill level 5 cast an enhanced attack every attack every fourth basic attack. It does 50% increase damage to normal enemies and additional 30% to target's current HP 
if it's a summoned unit. So again, I think again the best set would be Pack Speed based on based on just the text. So I might be wrong, so don't quote me, please. Death Adder Special, so 22 second cooldown, forcefully whips the front area, inflicting AoE damage, confuses summoned units, and increases their attack by 30%. For 10 seconds in Gauntlet, this effect is also applied to cost 2 or below units. At skill level 5, cooldown minus, uh, minus 0 0.5 seconds for every basic attack. So confusion means that the target switches sides and attacks its team. So this is again a situational skill but again a very powerful one love the pain ultimate 48 seconds whips and generates a strong wind inflicting aoe damage on enemies in front increases damage resistance for 20 percent for 12 seconds when cast at skill level 5 damage targets are confused so again pretty much very lethal so this applies in gauntlet this effect also applies to cost 2 or below unit again your twins will be affected by this one. You know, fast teams, low cost teams will be affected by this one. So again, they're a very good counter for soldiers as well. Okay, next would be in our basic or regular banner. You have Serapel. Um, by the way, her art is pretty much very creepy. Creepy cute. Very creepy. Creepy cute. So SSS is a defender counter for cost. So again, another substitute for for Awakened Hilde eventually if she, you can't use her or you don't have her. But again, she is also a good unit to have a masochistic tank. KR PVE score is 10 out of 10. So she is the she is used in most game modes in KR and is a, is a go-to tank thanks to the utility she provides. KR PVP score is 9 out of 10. Sorry, that, that's PV. The PvP is 9 out of 10. Alongside Yumi, she is a go-to non-awakened tank in KR. It's either her or Yumi that are always banned and it's a cycle there. One week, you see Yumi and other Serapel. Okay, so again, this these tanky units will usually rotate because they're banned. That includes Awakened Hilda. So if you have Serapel, you have Yumi, uh, you, you have uh, Yuna, you have, I think Yumi is Yumi Lee, I'm, I think. And the, these will be your rotation in terms of if, if others are banned, you have a good core of defenders that, you know, that, that, that you could go to. So more or less Reginald King will be out of the picture once these, these ladies are going to be out. She's going to be four as well, as well as Reginald King. So again, she is going to be good. So she is she worth uh, pulling for? So she is the best SSS ta tank in the game for both PVE and PVP. If you're free to play, there has already which you already have um, A Hilde and Liu Mi. Then you can skip her. But again, I would say that you need all the help that you can get because again, there are ban weeks that sometimes other defenders might be banned. So again. I'll get my. I'll get, give you guys my summary later. Let's just finish this. Um, in terms of Serapel skill set, discharges enemy, inflicting AOE damage on and around target, permanently increases her attack by one percent in response to incoming damage, up to ninety nine percent in Gauntlet. Incoming damage decreases all enemies' HP by forty five four point five percent over three seconds, so ships excluded. At level 5, after every 4th basic attack, she delivers an enhanced AoE attack to the front area and gains hit stun immunity for special skills and lower. Damage resistance plus 50% for 5 seconds as well. So again, could be attack speed. So the, the, the 4 piece set. Spreading pain, special 28 seconds, unleash her power inflicting AoE damage on surrounding enemies and forcing them to attack her for 8 seconds. Takes 50% of the damage from surrounding allies in achieves. 100% higher defense for 8 seconds at skill level 5. Recovers 30% of max HP after skill. Also could be um, all HP. Um, two, two, 2 HP sets could do as well. Dr. Bosa ultimate 48 seconds partially reveals her true form. Inflicting AoE damage on surrounding enemies. This skill immediately cancels all the debuffs. All the debuffs cast on her and makes her invincible for the duration. 
At skill level 5 stuns all enemies for 2 after skill. So again, pretty much for me, again, very, very impressive, impressive counter. So again, what's my take if you are given choices? So again, for Awakened Yuna, yes, you must. Must summon um, because she will be your substitute for Awakened Hilde when she gets banned. Um, next is Harab. For me, Harab is more of a preference. If you, especially that she is uh, behind a paywall, you will have to decide whether you want to build her, uh, considering that you want to get revenge on soldiers. So you have to make the decision for yourself. But again, she can be good on certain situations with soldiers. But I will be getting her actually for the counter pass. And also for Serap Serapel, I will be getting her because again, she is worth the four cost of a defender. <laughs> and again, she will be tremendous as a tank. Uh, as far as rotation is concerned, you have you will have Yuna, you will have Serapel, and you will have Awakened Hilde. Um, any of which could be banned, but again, at least you will have one um, at the end of the day. So anyway, guys, um, those are my my first impressions. I will have a more in-depth review of these heroes, of these units. Um, in the coming days as soon as the update uh, um, you know as, as soon as the update drops so again guys for those who have stayed this far in this video thank you very much and also please consider subscribing while you are here hit the bell icon and also put a like to this video guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here